welcome back to my channel, Plain Not Jane. I am Plain Not Jane, and you, my friend, have tuned into this week's seven. This week's seven is video series highlighting lessons learned and observations made in my life over the last seven days. So this is April, which is Autism Awareness Month, and this year, Autism Awareness Month is a little different for my family. Young Mountain was recently diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. It's been a bit of a journey, but this week I wanted to share seven things that I've learned as a parent to a child on the spectrum. And this week's seven starts now. Number one, the biggest surprise that I've come across since the diagnosis is that some people actually outgrow their diagnosis. Most don't, but I didn't even know that that was in the realm of possibility. Um, and I just thought that was that was that was something interesting that I learned. Number two, there is no one size fits all therapy or intervention. It really is an exercise in trial and error. I'm one of those people that's kind of naturally wired to find the right answer or the right thing. But what I've learned uh, since my son has been diagnosed as being on the spectrum is that there is no one right answer. What works for this kid may not work for this kid. And even with just my own child, what worked for him this month might not work for him the next month. It's really an exercise in trial and error. Number three, my baby is still the same sweet, funny, curious little guy that he has always been. Nothing about him has changed. The only difference is that now we have a name to describe some of the difficulties that he has. Number four, as a parent, you will experience all of the emotions. Every single emotion that exists, you will experience it at some point in time. I have cried out in despair. I have cried tears of joy. I have literally trembled with fear. I have had troll-like optimism. As a parent, you will experience all sorts of emotions. And all of those emotions are valid and they're normal. Number five, my husband and I are his biggest and best advocates. Yes, we team up with his PCP and with therapists and all these other folks that deal with kids on the spectrum as part of their professions. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, he is our kid. And nobody knows him the way that we do. And because we know him better than anybody else, it's our responsibility to ensure that he's getting what he needs. Number six. Some days will be better than others. I have learned that lesson over and over again. Some days, it's smooth sailing. Some days it feels like we're in the middle of a hurricane. But I'm also learning that we just have to roll with it. I mean, that's really all you can do is just roll with it. And finally, number seven. I have learned that I'm really not alone in this. This is the first time that I can remember in a long time that I have felt like I'm not the only person in this fight. I'm not the only person rooting for my baby. I'm not the only person that's willing to do whatever it takes to get him whatever so that he can be the best him that he can possibly be. I know that I'm not the only person that hopes the world can adjust to him. <laughs> And it feels good to have that support system. Having that support system and knowing that when I drop the ball, that there is like
like a ton of other people willing and waiting to pick it up and do whatever needs to be done for Young Mountain. It really has, it's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling to have that support system. All right, that's been this week's seven. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a good old thumbs up. And if you didn't, keep on going and don't come back. Also, make sure you click below to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this week's seven cooking videos, DIY projects, and good old family foolery. So until next time, go where you're celebrated, not just tolerated. Be safe. Bye-bye. Having a diagnosis of ASD is not the end of the world. It's just the beginning of a new chapter in your journey. But early intervention is key. I would encourage each of you, if you have concerns about your kids, if they're missing milestones, they're exhibiting any of the other early signs of autism, talk to your doctor, talk to your PCP, talk to your pediatrician. The biggest gift you can give your kid is early intervention. The earlier, the better.